Hello and welcome to the mini video series to the 802.11 and LTE application framework version 1.1. In this video I will show you how to run the video streaming demo using the LTE application framework. So I assume that you already have your USAP connected to your system, that you installed LabVIEW communication with the LTE application framework option enabled and when you did this then you can Open LabVIEW Communications, select New, then Application Frameworks, then the LTE design and with the extension of the hardware that is connected to your system. So I will use the USRP Rio. Now I click Create and this will create a new instance of this project. Open the host top level, which is called LTE host DL for the downlink only operation mode. Then if you want to have more space on the screen, you can double click the ribbon to increase the size of the block diagram. And then when the code is ready, you can run the host application. Before doing this, check that the Rio device fits to the device connected to your system. In case you have only one USAP Rio connected to your system, then Rio 0 should be fine for you. Also check that the TX frequency and the RX frequency are supported by your device. Otherwise just modify this frequency and select the frequencies which is supported by your device. So now when the settings are correct, we can run the VI by just clicking the run button or pressing Ctrl R. If it runs for the first time, you will also see this message window, but it should disappear soon. Now the host executes and the first thing it will do is downloading the bit file to the FPGA. And when the FPGA ready indicator lights up, this means that now the bit file is running on the FPGA and then that we can now uh, enable our system. So I can enable the transmitter, I can enable the receiver, I will see that it successfully synced to the transmitted signal. I can see the constellation of the data channel. So in this case it's 64 QAM like I said here at the transmitter. And I see a constant throughput of around 28 megabit per second. Currently you see that the whole curve is green. So this means that we successfully received our data channel. But the portion of the user data inside this data channel is zero. You can also see this if you select the user data to UDP uh, value here, then you will see that the actual user data throughput is zero. Now we want to provide some user data. This is done by a UDP. So the transmitter, you can define a UDP port where you want to receive the data from that is then uh, encoded as the transmitted signal. And also on the receiver, it offers uh, the possibility to then send out this user data that was received by the receiver to an external application using the port which is defined here. Now to provide user data to these ports and also to receive data from these ports, I prepared batch files that you can download from an iTalk. And I downloaded them already to my machine, to this video demo folder. And now I can run the stream video LTE batch file, which provides user data to the port, which we've defined for the transmitter. And as a result, the receiver will now receive the user data as part of the data channel. And this is what you can see here uh, with this blue curve. We now have a throughput of about one megabit per second of video data. And to actually display the data that was received by the receiver. We can run the play video LTE batch file. And this will play back the received data. And you will also see that when you disable the receiver, that the video will stop. Or if you have the video running and you disable the transmitter, then also the video will stop. So you can see that the video is actually running over our LTE link. Just another hint, instead of running both batch files separately, you can also run the video loopback LTE batch file and this will open both instances of the player.
So again, this player provides user data to the UDP port defined here. You can also see that now there's data transfer going on. And this player gets the data that was received by the receiver. You can see that the UDP ports are equal here and that there's actually a data transfer going out. So I hope you enjoyed this small video and that you are now able to demonstrate the LTE video streaming on your own. For now, thanks for watching.